Hey guys, Beauty of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using a large box and pipes to recreate this awesome table in this picture that someone sent to me. I'll be starting off with the pipes. And I got these pipes from Home Depot and I cut them down to the size that I'll need for the project. I got this pipe cutter from Home Depot, but then you can use whichever pipe cutter that you have at home. I'm also cutting smaller pieces for my design. Now I'm going to be connecting all of them with elbows. I'll be making two, and for the other one, it's going to be smaller because I'll be using shorter connecting pipes. I'm marking down the middle for all four pipes because I'll be drilling holes in them to connect all of them together. When I was done with this, I kept it aside and picked up a wooden board and then I'm going to be attaching the smaller wooden pieces on them. These wooden pieces are going to serve as stoppers in my design. As you can see, the pipes are going to stop right there. Now I'm going to be attaching the pipes to the wood. For the top, I'll be using this old canvas that's got a hole there and I don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to be attaching wood on top of the canvas. I kept that aside and then took this large empty box that I got from Home Depot to carve out the shape that I want for my design. The next thing I'll do is cut out strips that I'm going to be gluing around the circles. Now this is how I'm going to be attaching the first one. Now because it doesn't sit properly, I'm going to be cutting some parts of it where the pipes are to make it easy for the cardboard to go in.
Now for the second shape, to make sure that it goes in and give it a nice continuous look, I'm gonna be cutting it into two before attaching it. The part down here that was cut, I'm just going to remove a small piece from it and attach it there to cover the pipe. Now because the cardboard is not smooth, I'm going to be covering the whole thing with hard poster boards. cover up the pipes that are still showing at the bottom, I'll be making a little base with foam boards. I spray painted it silver and then the entire base is going to be covered with acrylic mirror sheets. Now I have a link for this down in the description box below. They look like actual mirrors and they're self-adhesive which makes them super easy to use. The outer and inner curves of this design is going to be covered with bling wrap. What I had was not wide enough, so I added another piece. I will strongly recommend that you use a wider bling wrap for this instead of doing it in parts and pieces like I am doing right now because it's much easier. I have to let you guys know that attaching the bling wrap on the outer and inner circles will require a lot of patience. I also want you all to know that I used $30 worth of bling wrap on this project. I'm covering two large circles that have the outer sides and the inner sides. So yeah, that's why I used a lot of bling wrap. When I finished the project, I noticed that the top was small, so I made a wider one. I glued acrylic mirrors by the sides and then real beveled mirrors at the top. And here's the finished look. I'm really happy that I picked up this DIY request because it is such a unique and interesting piece. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.